To Fairy House flock racegoers in their thousands for Ireland's steeplechase of the year, the Grand National. No grand day, it's still a national occasion. Cottage Rake, seen here in the paddock, is as expected favourite, though it carries top weight. The knowledgeable ones, however, plumb for Dominic's bar number three. With ten other thoroughbreds to pick from, racing fans are in a quandary. For, like any Grand National, the result is anybody's guess. A £2,000 prize lies ahead as the racing dozen gets off to a fast start. Three and a half miles to go, more than a dozen fences to cross. Over the first jump, the field is tightly packed with Dominic's Bar, Stockman, Coupe and Derrimstown leading the way to number two. round and into the straight before the grandstand. Half the grueling race is over and it's four cents nearest the camera and Cottage Rake fighting it out for the lead. Neck and neck they race along for the turn and the second circuit. Out in the country, Stormhead jumps up among the leaders. And now it's a private battle between Big Cottage Rake and Sprightly Stormhead, with the rest of the field tightly bunched behind. the last jump and pounding up the last few furlongs, it's Stormhead still a shade in front with Dominic's bar hard on its tail. Cottage Rake is out of it, top weight was too much for him. Slowly, inch by inch, champion jockey Martin Maloney edges Dominic's bar into the lead. He's gaining a neck, a quarter length, a half, what a finish! It's the most exciting finish seen on Fairy Course for years. Two lengths separate them at the post with Dominic's bar a brilliant winner. Superbly written by Martin Maloney, trained to peak condition by Tim Hyde, Dominic Spar's 8 to 1 triumph puts a hole in the bookie's pocket and gives the thrill of a lifetime to its owner's daughter, Miss Keeley.